Animal breeders must face a lot of disease outbreaks which affect their technical and economic results. It is possible to control the spread of diseases by implementing biosecurity measures. Biosecurity includes all the techniques applied before and during the rearing period of animals to improve their rearing conditions and reduce the presence of pathogens. This video presents the most important biosecurity rules to implement in any scale of animal production farms. First, animals reared must be isolated from any wildlife contact by the means of a fence or a wall built around the farm. Wildlife animals are susceptible to transmit diseases if they host them in their organism or carry them on their body, skin, hair, or feathers. For the same reason, human access to the farm must also be controlled. In critical periods, the best way is to forbid any entry to people who do not work on the farm. A notebook can be used to register each entry into the farm site. Any vehicles that enter the farm must be washed and then disinfected at the entry gate. This practice is very effective to prevent the contamination of external pathogens, as those vehicles probably went to other farms previously. The choice of disinfectant is very important in order to avoid useless disinfection as some products do not kill all pathogens. As for vehicles, humans who enter the farm should shower and wear clean clothes and boots from the farm. Specific clothes and boots can even be worn for each production building, especially for the ones dedicated to young animals. Farmers are susceptible to buy animals like gilts or piglets. Those animals are carrying pathogens that are different from the ones already present on the farm. Consequently, it is very important to isolate them in quarantine for a minimum of one month after arrival to avoid the transmission of pathogens to animals already present. The quarantine building must be located far away from other production buildings. The reproduction of animals is vulnerable to disease transmission. Artificial insemination should be preferred to natural insemination, especially if the boars come from another farm. But the risk is also high for farmers who buy their semen, as some diseases can be transmitted through the semen. Therefore, it is necessary for pig farmers to control the origin of their semen and check if the farm that produced it is contaminated by any diseases or viruses. Animals must be separated according to their age or physiological stage. For example, weanling piglets must be raised in a building different from the one used for fattening pigs as they are much less resistant to pathogens, so their environment has to be more sanitized. In addition, it is necessary for humans to respect the walking forward, which consists of having contact from younger to older animals. The implementation of all-in-all -all out herd management is critical, as it allows farmers to completely empty a building when animals are transferred to another one or sold to the market. Then the building must be cleaned as soon as possible, using detergent and high-pressure water to eliminate the organic matter, disinfected to kill the remaining pathogens, and finally dried. Not only the inside, but also the outside of the building must be cleaned. A sanitary emptying of at least seven days should be respected before the arrival of a new batch of animals. Even when the animals are present, the building must be frequently cleaned by removing the feces and washing with water. A disinfectant may be sprayed inside the building once a week at low dose. Farm equipment should only be allocated to one specific building. If it is not possible, they must be cleaned and disinfected when being moved to another building, especially equipment used for medical treatment. In an open building, the use of nets prevents the contact between animals raised and birds that are susceptible to carry pathogen. A control plan should be implemented to eliminate pests from the farm site. In addition, dogs and cats should not be allowed to have access to the production buildings. Only complete feed from a trusted feed miller or mixed on the farm site should be distributed to the animals. Do not feed animals with kitchen waste, especially if they contain animal products. As the first nutrient of animals, it is essential to treat the drinking water to eliminate the pathogens that it contained. The water distribution system should be cleaned frequently to avoid the development of biofilm inside the pipes and consequently limiting the risk of infection of animals. Vaccination is an effective mean to protect the animals against most of the common viruses. But there is not a vaccine for every virus strain. For instance, African swine fever. 
Sick animals should be isolated as soon as possible in order to treat them properly and prevent healthy animals from being contaminated. In any case, do not market sick animals, as they are carrying pathogens or viruses that may contaminate the external environment. Dead animals must be incinerated or boiled in order to destroy pathogens present in their organisms. If they are buried without any heat treatment, their pathogens can spread into nature. The same risk occurs with the manure that should be treated by a biogas and a wastewater treatment system before releasing into nature. This application of those biosecurity rules should help you to better control the risk of diseases entering your farm and contribute to your future success as a farmer. If you have any question about our application, do not hesitate to contact the technical or sales team of our company.